Hey everybody, uh, today I want to show you how to run your Selenium uh, script in headless mode, mode versus non-headless mode. Uh, what do we mean by headless? Headless just means that it's not going to open up a browser window uh, in the, uh, that might be interrupting what you're doing. So in the standard configuration, when you run your script, a new Chrome instance opens up and it's going to take control of your computer, more or less, it's going to bring it to the front. And by running this in headless mode, it's just going to execute the task in the background. Uh, no new window is going to pop up. And it's really convenient if you're running something on a timer, on a machine that you're using, and you don't want to uh, distract yourself or take away from what you're doing. So there's three parts to doing this. Uh, part number one is to import the proper uh, Python package. So from selenium.webdriver.chrome.options, you're going to want to import options. This is critical because we're going to use this in a later step. So first step is, is to get your import squared away. You do that with this line of code. Step number two is we're going to use our new options to set these options. So we're going to create the Chrome options uh, variable and we're going to load it with this options method. And then in our newly created uh, item, we're going to do Chrome options dot headless, and we're going to set that to be equal to true. So let's change that here. True. This is like the essence of it. If that option is false, it's going to run normal with a new window. And if it's true, it's going to run in the background. So this is the main control here. You could build some control systems around it if you would want to. Okay. Step number three is that when we when we create our driver instance uh, I guess an instance, uh, call it what you want uh, when we create it we have to pass the options into it so webdriver.chrome uh, services equals s this is just a required parameter to create your uh, web driver and then you're going to want to pass in our new options that we just created. So this variable here, this, ver this name gets passed in here, and this is going to trigger how this is run. So let's, let's change this to false first. And I'm going to show you how it runs normally in non-headless mode. This is a simple little script I made that just makes a, a Google query and returns a, a line of text. So the Google query is the text, and then it's going to, re it's going to return the contents of this here. So 21 billion, uh, we'll go back to our console, 21, or yeah, 20, 20 million, 999 million. And it's returned that. So this is working. Exit out of that. Now let's go back here and we're going to set our option to equal true. So now it's going to run in headless mode. And uh, when I hit this button here, the run button, nothing should open, but it's still going to give us our output. It's still going to run the script properly even though new, no new browser window has been opened. So I click the run button. It's, there's, a, a, there's a sleep in here, so it's going to take a couple seconds. Um, starting driver. There. See, there, there are results. And there, if you notice, no new browser opened. This is all done in the background. So to review, there's three parts. Part number one is you import the package. Part number two, you set your options here. And part number three, you pass those options into your Chrome driver when you want to create the driver. Very simple. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button and share with others so other people can find it. And uh, if you want to see more Selenium content, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to keep making more. Uh, this. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you later.